Blue Horizon Developments believe in making quality affordable and the art of development. Visit the sales office and show unit in Rawai to see the latest beachfront development. Welcome to Phuket News TV and we have the one and only from Asia Pop 40, Dominic Lau or Dom Lau. How are you going? My friends call me Dom Lau and you and I are now friends. So yeah, Dom Lau. (laughs) Dom Lau. Now, Asia Pop 40, it's been going on for like six months now. Yeah. How is it all going? It is, do you know what? It's going absolutely superbly. I had no idea how amazing this show was going to become. Uh, It feels as though we've been doing this show for years uh, because we're just so busy and so much is happening but you just got to sit back and snap back into reality and realize it's only been six months so if you think we've done so much in the first six months the next six months are going to be fantastic so how many stations have taken on asia pop 40 oh there's a there's a i think about a dozen right now we're in indonesia we're obviously here in phuket uh and we're in singapore as well um but we're on several stations in indonesia um so and we've got every intention in fact we we are going to be in malaysia Uh, in the Philippines as well. Essentially what we want to do is we just want to give as many people across Asia a taste of Asia Pop 40 because it's, it's all the songs compiled into one three-hour show uh, that everyone in Asia is listening to. So you're a big music lover, and that's kind of how you got started. Um, Can you tell us a bit more how you got started? Because it was Channel V, was it? It was. Channel V was my first uh, professional, I suppose, is how my TV career got started. Um... Channel V started for me in 2005. Wow. Uh, I won't tell you how old I was then, because <laughs> then you'll know how old I am now. But we'll tell you later. 2005 was when it started, and then uh, stayed there. It moved on to Star TV. I hosted a show called VIP Access. It was all about movies and Hollywood. Then I moved on to E Entertainment, and now Asia Pop 40 as well. Okay, so all the girls here at the Phuket News have been asking me to ask you this question. Oh, Are you single? Am I single? Ladies, I, I really hate to crush anybody's, you know, expectations, but I, I do have a significant other. And what is your type of woman was the other question. Well, I tell you, it's changed rapidly in the last two minutes because now I've got a thing for blonde ladies. Uh, okay. I, I do. I do. Yeah. You that, girls? I, I am into blondes right now. Oh, God, I'm blushing. Okay, so with that, most people would uh, liken you to Ryan Seacrest, being the Ryan Seacrest of Asia. Uh, what do you think about that? Have you been compared it's, to him? You know, I've heard I've heard the term being uh, coined in the press and stuff, and it's it's very flattering, I have to say, because Ryan Seacrest is he's an idol of mine. You know, I look up to him uh, for what he does, and uh, essentially, I'd, I would like to follow in his footsteps and be as successful, if not more successful, than him. So it's very very flattering. But uh, really, what I want to do, and this is something my mother has always said, is You've got to be just Dom Lau, not, not Asia's Ryan Seacrest. Just be Dom. I like it. I like it. Now, it, most people would be surprised that you actually, your mum's English, so you've got a little bit of a British accent going on. Um, I do. Um, my mother is from the UK. She moved over from uh, the, from there to Hong Kong about 40 years ago. Uh, met my father uh, in Hong Kong. Um <laughs> did their thing and the rest is history had me and the rest is history really I think you should do one of your shows just in your British accent well the other thing is as well because I'm from Hong Kong the, you know the other popular I suppose accent out there is is we, we coin it Chinglish so it's a mixture of Chinese and English put together which this is sounds something like this this is the way the people the, the, the Chinese people when they talk the English this is how they talk so I'm thinking maybe because it's called Asia the Radio Asia that maybe one day I do the show like this this is Asia Pop 40 <laughs> that, is, like, that sounds cockney. It actually does. Almost. I, do you know what? I have no idea what accent I have. Like, sometimes, I just, I don't know. I change every now and then. It's weird. So you, uh, you interview, obviously, a lot of stars along the way. What's been your favorite interview, apart from this one? Gosh, well, I was going to say, this is now officially top of the pile, my favorite interview. Um, gosh, this, it's, it's hard. But, you know, top of my head, it's, it was something else. Shaking hands with Clint Eastwood. You oh, know, wow. this is a guy who's been in the film industry for 
God knows how many years, and to have been able to speak to him in person and shook his hand was was something else. That was a special moment. It made your day, yeah? It certainly made my day, punk. <laughs> so what's next to, for Dom Lau? Well, you know what? Right now, it is to try and get uh, Asia Pop 40 where it needs to be, where it deserves to be, and that is on more radio stations across Asia. Uh, after this, we've been asked, and this is a true story, we've been asked by a lot of people if we could actually turn Asia Pop 40 into a TV show as well because uh-huh. um, that's something that Asia doesn't have right now you know sort of uh, top of the top of the uh, was it top of the pops of the pop, yeah. that sort of thing uh, where we can actually bring in some of the acts that we talk about onto the set and have them perform in front of a live studio audience which is something I think that everybody in Asia would love wow what's your favorite song at the moment I believe Ed Sheeran is at number one uh, on Asia pop 40 are you into that music or would is your musical taste somewhat different I you know I am a rocker at heart Uh, you know at 11 years old I picked up the Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction album and haven't looked back since they are still to this day my favourite band I love rock music that's essentially my favourite who knows one day we could do an Asia Rock 40 wow never know but uh, as far as the Asia Pop 40 chart is concerned uh, I I don't know I don't know what it is every time Get Lucky comes on by Daft Punk (laughs) I just got I got the urge to dance yeah right (laughs) do you play any instruments I do I play the drums uh-huh. Uh, I'm actually in a band in Hong Kong with oh. a bunch of friends uh, and we play rock, yeah. as you can imagine. So, yeah, I've been playing drums for, gosh, about uh, 15 years now. Wow. You'd think I'd be good, but yeah. I'm actually not that good. Really? <laughs> so do you see a big, big trend happening in Asia, uh, in the music scene? Absolutely. I think it's great. For a while, I was really worried. When I grew up, uh, I'm an 80s child, and when I grew up, everyone wanted to be in a band. You know, yeah. people were learning guitar, drums, bass, learning how to sing, piano, you name it. And then after a while, pop took over, yeah. you know, and all yeah. this computer, computer um, manufactured. manufactured music and yeah. all that. Um, but yeah, especially when I've come down to Thailand, I see that the live music scene is alive and kicking. Mm. There's so many live bands, uh, not only here in Phuket, but up in Chiang Mai and Bangkok. Uh, and I see, I see a really bright future for, for music here in Asia. I think we're going to see a lot more festivals uh, and they're going to be taking place all over Asia. It's going to be great for everybody. There's going to be festivals in Thailand. There'll be more festivals in Malaysia, Hong Kong. Kong, Macau, Taiwan, China, Japan, you name it, they'll be there. This is only the, be- the beginning. Well, well. And what I did ask you before we started, what is something that is uh, surprising about you that you could tell us? Uh, Do you have any like hidden secrets anywhere? Gosh, I don't know. Um, all right, here's one for you. Okay. And, and this is, I have never admitted this. Oh, wow. Okay, but I actually prefer... Yeah. F- like songs where there's a female singer. I'm what? into chick songs. Really? More you so like than your ballads. I, I'm, a, oh, I'm a sucker for ballads. <laughs> I am a sucker for ballads. And I tell you, if there's, if there's ever like a night when we go out for karaoke, oh, that's another thing as well. Yeah. I love karaoke. I can't, I can't sing to save my life, but I love karaoke. I will put on like female ballads and I will sing them. There you go. That's and a secret. Don't tell anybody. Will you cry on stage as well? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, I will try. I will try and cry on stage. Yeah. What I'm going to do now in future, though, is imagine that I'm actually singing these songs to you oh, excellent. Just to, to get the extra real <laughs> realism. That's what I'm going to do. Excellent. So, where can people follow you, Dom? Uh, well, I'm on Twitter. So you can follow me on my Twitter account, Dom underscore Lau. Yeah. Uh, I'm on Facebook as well. I was told to be more active on Facebook. Mm-hmm. So I've now downloaded the app on my phone. So I've got Facebook 24 <laughs> seven now. Uh-huh. Uh, and I've also got, I post photos up on Instagram as well. Dom J Lau is my, my handle. So I try and post interesting <laughs> photos. Uh, I've got lots of photos of my dog Axel on there. <laughs> right. Um, so you can follow me on those. We need one with the tears and you sing about As one. soon as those tears come pouring down <laughs> my cheek, I will post a picture picture and I will dedicate it to you. I will thank you. hashtag you in there. <laughs> thank you, Dom. Thank you so much for being here today and all the best. Thank you very much. Great catching up with Dom Lau there. We'll catch you next time on the Phuket News TV.